Long ago, billions of years in the past, Mars was a very different world from the barren desert we see today. It had rivers that cut across its valleys, lakes that shimmered under a pinkish sky, and perhaps even an ocean in its northern hemisphere. This version of Mars was alive with potential, a world where life could have taken root, the atmosphere was thicker then, rich with carbon dioxide and water vapor. This created a greenhouse effect that kept the surface warm enough for liquid water to remain stable. Volcanic eruptions filled the skies with gases, and the ground trembled with energy. All of these ingredients, water, warmth, and chemistry, were the sparks of life. If life ever appeared on Mars, it most likely began in the water. Tiny single-celled organisms, invisible to the naked eye, may have swum through its lakes and rivers. They would not have looked like animals or plants we know today. Instead, they resembled Earth's earliest microbes, simple, tough, and endlessly adaptable. Some of these microbes may have used sunlight to create energy, just as cyanobacteria once did on Earth. They floated near the surface of lakes, absorbing the weak Martian sunlight and slowly releasing oxygen into their environment. If so, they may have left faint chemical fingerprints behind in the rocks we see today, others might not have needed sunlight at all. Mars was a volcanic world, riddled with hydrothermal vents and underground hot springs. Microbes could have thrived here by eating the chemicals released from the planet's interior. They would have lived off sulfur, hydrogen, or iron, feeding on the raw energy of the planet itself. Deep underground, life may have found its strongest refuge. Beneath layers of rock and soil, water stayed liquid long after the surface dried up. Microbial beings could have hidden here, safe from harmful radiation and the thin atmosphere above. For countless centuries, they may have survived in these dark aquifers, these organisms were almost certainly very small. There were no forests of Martian plants, no crawling Martian animals, and no civilizations. Life on Mars never had enough time to evolve into complexity. The planet lost its protective atmosphere too quickly, and the environment became hostile before more advanced beings could develop, still, the world was not empty. In the mud of Martian lakes, mats of microbes may have formed, like slimy carpets clinging to the shore. In underground caves, colonies of bacteria-like creatures may have glowed faintly, producing strange chemical reactions as they struggled to endure for millions of years, these tiny beings may have thrived. They built ecosystems invisible to the eye, where one species fed on the waste of another. The cycle of life, birth, survival, and decay may have turned quietly on a planet that today seems silent and dead, but Mars was changing. Slowly, its protective magnetic field weakened, allowing solar winds to strip away its atmosphere. The once thick blanket of gases grew thinner and thinner until it could no longer keep warmth trapped. The rivers dried, the lakes vanished, and the ocean retreated into frozen memory, the microbes that lived on the surface perished as the water evaporated. The pink sky grew thinner, and temperatures plunged. Only those that had already sought refuge underground could continue their fragile existence. These survivors clung to life, trapped in pockets of liquid water deep beneath the surface. For them, survival was not easy. With less warmth and fewer resources, many colonies may have collapsed. Yet some may still endure, waiting silently in Martian stone, locked in a state of near-suspended animation. They could remain even now, tiny relics of a lost era of habitability. We have found hints of their possible existence. Rovers have drilled into Martian rocks and discovered organic molecules, the chemical building blocks of life. These are not proof of living beings, but they suggest that the recipe for life was once present. In ancient riverbeds, clay minerals have been discovered. On Earth, such clays form in watery environments that often shelter microbes. Mars has entire regions filled with these minerals, whispering stories of vanished ecosystems, even Martian meteorites, blasted into space long ago and later landing on Earth, contain strange structures. Some scientists believe these may be fossilized microbes, though others argue they are simply natural formations. The debate remains alive and unresolved, what we know for certain is that Mars once had the conditions for life. The question that remains is whether life truly appeared, and whether, against all odds, it still clings to existence today. If it did, the beings that lived on Mars were humble and microscopic. They were not creatures of myth or imagination but tough survivors, much like the extremophiles of Earth that live in boiling springs, deep sea vents, or frozen tundras. To them, survival was the only purpose. 
They did not build, they did not dream, they did not invent. But in their small way, they may have transformed their world, shaping its chemistry just as early microbes on Earth changed our atmosphere had Mars stayed warm and wet for longer, perhaps life there could have grown more complex. Perhaps algae-like organisms could have spread, and multicellular life might have appeared. Yet fate was unkind, and the planet's decline cut that story short, today, when we look at Mars, we see a desert of dust and stone. Yet in its rocks, the ghosts of those ancient beings may still be preserved. Fossilized microbes, frozen in time, could be waiting for us to uncover them our robotic explorers have already begun searching. Curiosity, Perseverance, and other rovers have been scouring the surface for signs of life. Each discovery of ancient clay, organic molecules, or dried-up riverbed strengthens the possibility that Mars was once alive someday, humans may dig deeper into the Martian crust and find what we have long suspected, evidence of life, long dead or perhaps still barely clinging to existence. That discovery would change how we see the universe forever for if life arose on Mars, it means that life is not unique to Earth. It means that given the right conditions, life may emerge wherever there is water, chemistry, and time. It means we are not a cosmic accident but part of a much larger pattern, and so, the story of Martian beings is not just about Mars. It is about the universe itself. Tiny microbes on a distant planet would prove that life is not rare, but common. That across the stars, in countless worlds, other forms of life may be thriving right now. Billions of years ago, Mars may have had its moment of life. It may have been home to beings so small we would need a microscope to see them. Yet in their simplicity lay a profound truth, life is persistent, life is creative, and life seeks out every opportunity to exist, even if Mars is lifeless today, the memory of what could have been remains etched into its valleys and plains. The dried riverbeds, the cracked lake beds, the frozen pools, all are reminders that this world once held the spark of possibility. As we continue to explore Mars, we are really searching for ourselves. We want to know whether life is a miracle confined to Earth or a natural outcome of the universe's laws. And in the dust of Mars, we may yet find the answer, until that day, the story of Martian beings remains half-told. They may have lived, they may have thrived, and they may even still survive, hidden beneath the red planet's surface. But their final truth awaits discovery, and so the tale of life on Mars is not just ancient history, it is a mystery still unfolding, a puzzle that humanity is only beginning to solve.